So that was fun, huh? <laughs> what a great crowd, holy moly. My name is David Leslie Johnson, and I'm going to introduce you to the director and cast of Annabelle. So, that was awesome. It was weird though, because, I mean, just because I came out and said that, yeah, I hear that sound here is awesome, there was something wrong with the mix, so there was a lot of sounds missing, or they were really low, but still played really well, so the, I guess we don't... The, the crowd filled in for that, so I, I don't so, think anybody was uh, disappointed, so I know, yeah. it, was, it was awesome. It's, 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 I watched the movie, it was like, Terrified for 75% of it, and then the last 25% was like, all right, you guys are just making everyone else's job hard who has to make these movies. You're just moving the bar too high. You can't have all the scary. It's not fair. So, so who here, did anyone here ever have a doll that they were afraid of? I had problems with humanities. <laughs> I had a really scary Cabbage Patch doll. Oh, yeah. And all of my, my parents and my, all my family thought I loved it, but I really didn't. <laughs> How about you, David? Anything, uh, anything inanimate? Uh, my He-Mans were all awesome, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, uh, I want to talk to you real quick about, I mean, you've been making movies on a very different scale than you were just four years ago. Uh, I, even less. Le yes. less yeah. Okay, three years ago. The Lights Out short that went viral, you shot with your wife in your apartment. Still thanks, Dean. I got a chance to visit the set for this. The whole house was on a stage on the Warner Brothers lot. I'm sure your apartment is really nice, but do you prefer working on a, a big set like that? Or, or I feel like, are there different challenges? No challenge, just awesomeness, right? <laughs> it's just like, I mean, first of all, that, that's sort of how you imagine that, that, yeah, that's how movies are made, like on the Warner Brothers lot. Not all movies are, unfortunately. But, so that was like, and, and you know, to be able to design everything and just get exactly what you wanted. You know, we had a great production designer, Jennifer Spence, who, I mean, it, things in this movie came to be because of her, like the, the whole dumbwaiter sequence. Uh, wasn't original, originally in the script. That was something like she was like, "Hey, maybe we could put a dumb waiter in the, you know, between the bedrooms." And I was like, "Can you put a child in there?" <laughs> and then it became a whole sequence from that. So I mean, it was just a great experience with everyone, you know, collaborating and, and making really cool things. Yeah. Well, speaking of collaborating, and and, and there, I mean, there, there are two people for our, for our, here on our stage tonight. The first is. Godfather of the Conjuring Universe, James Wan, who is making a little indie movie called Aquaman at the moment. Um, and then uh, Gary Doberman, who I thought wrote a, a terrific script. All the characters really well written. Yeah, so I want to give it out for Gary since he can't be here tonight. He, he is busy in Romania working on The Nun. So, so he's, he's working on expanding the universe even further. So, uh, Lulu, my next question I had for, was for you. How old are you? I'm 11. 11. Last year, last year you were in another very scary movie, yes. Ouija Origin of Evil. Yes. My wife won't let our children watch the Conjuring movies until they're in college. Why so not? Why not? Uh, my question to you is, do you like scary movies? I love and scary movies. They're my favorite. Where, when did you first start seeing scary movies? Well, I did a I just, scary I, I, movie. I, want, I want to tell my wife that they're good for kids. So. <laughs> I did my first scary movie when I was six. So that Ooh. kind of desensitized me to the whole <laughs> genre. And then after that, I started watching more. And then I just got really into them, and I started watching them like every night. And, well, I remember the first, the first scary movie I watched, I was like two. Oh, I, God. <laughs> I forget what it was called, but it was the ones with the, with the people who had no faces. And the, yes, yes, and um, I don't remember that, but that's probably why I like them. <laughs> how, how about you? How old are you? I'm 15. 15. Okay, so you, how do, how do you feel about scary movies? 
I love them too. I mean, I don't really get scared easily is the thing. There has to be a really good scary movie to make me scared. But I did like being like raw, emotional, sensitive Janice too. She's a lot of fun because she's very different than me because I'm more tough. I don't like crying in front of people very often. So she's very different because she's always like crying and emotional and scared. So that was fun.